Hello everyone, this is Frank Demore. Today is April the 21st of 2015. I want to continue to show you, as I warned, you would be seeing much more news about the birds, the fish, and the animals dying. And so I'm going to pick up where I left off last week and show you the new news that came out concerning the birds, the fish, and the animals dying, as we see warned in Hosea in the Old Testament. We now have a better idea of the extent of the tragic fish deaths over at the Texas State Aquarium. Yeah, we've learned that more than 300 fish and marine animals perished in that mishap. Tests are being done on the water and on the medicine. This was a complete surprise and something we could have never predicted. It was an eerie scene Wednesday at the Texas State Aquarium. Visitors walking by one of the largest tanks in the facility and seeing nothing but water. Like everyone else, we're going to be looking for explanations as to what exactly caused this so we can guarantee it doesn't happen ever again. Of the fallout from the record cold we endured this winter is beginning to show now that temperatures are above freezing. In New Hartford, hundreds of dead fish have come to the surface, causing quite a stink along a popular walking trail. I was just shocked when I saw the shoreline. Yeah, the fish kill is pretty gnarly. I always enjoyed the walk, and two days ago I noticed there was a very strong odor, and as I viewed the side, the shore, there were a lot of dead fish. Brazil continues to struggle with problems plaguing the preparations for the 2016 Rio Summer Olympics. This time, it's the dead fish floating along the river where the rowing and canoeing events are to take place. 37 tons of dead fish have been removed from the waters by Rio's waste management company since last week. Dead fish continue to wash up on the banks of the Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon in Rio de Janeiro. The latest incident affecting thousands of small silvery fish called Twait Shad began several days ago. Neighbors are complaining about the stench caused by the rotting fish bobbing in the shallows. Brian Bicknell, another blow to the poultry industry in Ontario. 27,000 chickens will have to be euthanized after the Canadian Food Inspection Agency confirmed a second farm in Oxford County has tested positive for the avian flu. This diagnosis is coming a little more than a week after a turkey farm in Woodstock lost more than 45,000 birds to an outbreak. Further testing is being done to determine the precise strain of the virus. All birds on the latest infected premises are being euthanized. The buildings are being disinfected. 
Farms within a 10 kilometer radius of the infected farm have been placed under quarantine. Ontario Federation of Agriculture Executive Mark Rooser says those in the industry are taking heightened security measures. The current speculation is that it may be trans transmitted by migratory waterfowl. So we are, ta again, taking every precaution to make sure that what happens outdoors with migratory waterfowl doesn't happen in the barn. Dead fish have been popping up in Harrisburg's Italian Lake in the last week. City officials say they've cleaned out between 200 and 300 American shad fish. A handful still remain. Officials are not sure exactly how they got there or when, but whoever did it did not know their surroundings. American shadfish live in lakes, not ponds like the Italian Lake. The fish died after an Italian Lake froze over this winter. fish in Lake Weir for reasons that are unknown to me. And uh, I walk the shoreline all the time on this beach. Is that, is that a bass? That's a crappie. That's a crappie. The birds have eaten his, eaten his eyes. Along from Gator Joe's here, past Gator Joe's, I would say a mile or two miles probably a mile up that way and a mile that was probably this whole shoreline on this side the north shore mm -hmm, which i walk and fish and there's like i said catfish bass crappie bluegill all of them dead on the shoreline from something Now, after each segment that I show, giving you the proof that the birds, the fish, and the animals are dying, I continue to warn you to please keep an eye on the news because you will continue to hear more news like you just saw today. We are moving towards the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, and this is one of the signs that we're supposed to be looking for, and it is happening. If you like more information about this, please download my book today. It has all of the details in my book. God bless.